Hello, dearies. Welcome. It's Kelly from the Book of Moons. And as promised, I'm here with your mini tarot reading for the month of July. This time I thought I would use my Crow Tarot deck by MJ Cullinane, one of my all-time favorites, which I'm sure you know if you've been following my Instagram for any length of time. And before we begin, just a reminder that these are not intended to be any sort of in-depth, serious readings. They're just for fun, although I, I do hope that you'll gain a little bit of insight from them um, or guidance and direction for, for the month ahead. So with that in mind, we'll begin with a quick shuffle. And then we'll cut the cards. Okay. All right. So when I do these mini reads, the way the spread is laid out is as follows. The first card represents the overall goal that you're striving for for the month ahead. The middle card represents how to best get there. And the last card represents potential blockages, what you want to avoid, uh, pitfalls that uh, you're going to need to step around or resistance you might encounter along the way that you should be aware of. So for our overall goal for the month ahead, we have the Four of Wands. And this suggests that you should focus this is sort of my my stop and smell the roses card and i love how this this depiction actually does have flowers on it um you know it's it's the card for appreciating the beauty in life and celebrating good times with others and that's what you want to focus on for the month ahead and i can see this card this is resonating with me for the month of july because it's been a long haul for all of us i think uh with this pandemic and uh, we've been cooped up and at least in my state things are starting to open up again and starting to connect with others um in a safe way <laughs> um but yeah so i i'm seeing this card um for your goal at, for the month is to really appreciate what you can do if you have small progress you can make in terms of, of getting together with others or connecting with others um, to focus on that. And if you can't, if you're still in uh, quite a bit of a lockdown situation, it's still encouragement to find other ways to connect with others and to look at the beauty around you um, and don't take it for granted. One of the things I like to do when we were really in the thick of our lockdown is, is to go outside and literally stop and smell the roses and just appreciate nature. And um, that's something that really helped get me through those days when we were really isolated. Um, the best way to do that, we have the Eight of Swords. And so this suggests that the best way to do that is to free yourself. <laughs> you know, this card is about being trapped, feeling trapped, feeling like you have no choice, that you're stuck and uh, someone is not letting you out. But the the secret is you can let yourself out, right? This bird can just take off and fly, whip off the blindfold and get out of there. And um, so don't allow yourself to feel trapped. Try to uh, think about, again, those and focus on those good things that you have. And um, that is what you want to be focusing on for the, the month ahead. What you want to avoid, you have uh, the nine of wands. And when I see this card pop up, especially in this position, I see it as a warning to not be too defensive. And so in this sense, we're looking at, uh, again, not focusing on the negative and, and anticipating the worst and you may be feeling a little bit battle weary because it's been a, a tough few months for uh, many of us and I think all of us in some way or another. So this is sort of saying that don't let that jade, jade you. Um, certainly it's it's great to be prepared um, and be prepared for what's to come. Um, but it's sort of like waiting for the other shoe to drop and that sort of pessimistic outlook. Don't let that overwhelm you. Um, focus on your blessings and you'll be much better off in the long run. So there we have it, our mini read for the month of July. I hope you enjoyed this series. And if you did, please like and comment. So I, I know that these are resonating with you and I'd like to continue doing them at the beginning of every month. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thank you again for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.